with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. One down. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki. The pitch. On the ground, Tejada. Sends it across yep, the first, and there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's some real power at the plate. King Tejada leading the NL in home runs to start the day. He's been a beast. Chop to third, and he grabs it foul. In the air, left field. Hat makes the grab, and that will end the inning. Great. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. So here's Murphy now. Tom Murphy. Boy, back to work. Now to short, Tejada. One up, one down. Batting nine, the center fielder, number 16. One out, base is empty. Here's Nick Solak. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Out to short. Throw on to Olsen. Got the out. Now batting, the designated hitter. Geraldo. King Tejada will hit next. Not short stop. 0 for 1 so far. King. Great Tejada. speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Hey, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, oh, whether it's a no, golf club, whether it's a basketball, field. he can do it and get it done. And this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is out of here. Homer number 25 of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 6-1. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Man at second here with two away. And the batter will be the shortstop, King Tejada. He's already homered in this game. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And a rope in the center field base hit. Ozzie flying around third. He'll score. It's 9-1. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Tanner Bybee will take over here. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Runner at first with two away. No Here's Jesse there. Winker. Jesse Winker. Hey, try that pitch, huh? Here you go. And steal, a ball steal, and steal. two strikes. Runner on the go. This one smacked out to left center. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. In to score from first. And they now lead by nine.
Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That was exactly what you're looking to do with the pitch away, especially in that situation. Drive it into the opposite field gap. He got himself two bags on a great swing of the bat. Ian Happ up to hit. One for two. Happ, a switch hitter, it can be challenging for guys at the big league level to maintain a good swing from both sides of the plate. Clearly, he's got more pop from the left side, but in 2022, dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. King Tejada next up for the Braves. He's already homered here in this one. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical hey, things it. really Run, well, like look out because go. the sky's the limit on that potential. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, and one. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Mancini makes the catch, and there's one gone. The left fielder, number 33, Jesse. Now it's the second the baseman, Christopher Morell. Christopher Morell. Runners at first and second with one gone. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. The Braves' pen comes through in fine fashion. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Braves' 12 and the Cubs' four. Trey Mancini now. Whistler in his seventh season, 31 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2011. Now a screamer into the outfield. Winker pulls it down, and there's two gone. The third baseman, number 24. Well, these guys just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball, but today they put it together. This should start them rolling now. You have to pay attention to the details. If you do that with good pitching, good defense, you will win most of your ball games. 12-4 is the way this one finishes. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.